So this is our surprise. We are not RV camping this weekend. We are actually tent camping. <laughs> we are on an island this weekend. We are actually staying at Derny Key Island. So if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, ring that bell, and let's get this video started. So a little backstory here. Uh, before we started RV camping, we basically got our love for camping here at Dernike. We would camp almost what two or three times of, at least two or three times a summer, and maybe more. And uh, of course, obviously tent camping here. But uh, so we thought we haven't done this for like, like I said, about five years. So we figured if we're going to keep the boat and we're going to use it, we might as well. Uh, might as well try a tent at camping here on the island uh, one more time and see uh, just uh, how easy we have it now that we're RV camping and we have air conditioning and all that, you know, shower and bathroom every night. So we're probably going to be pretty hot. It's August. It's Florida. But ho we're hoping there's a good breeze out here tonight to keep us cool. And we've already started setting up our tent. It seems to have weathered the five years that it's not been used. It smells a little mildewy, but eh. That's what tents are supposed to smell like, I think. So this is one of the things uh, we've said in a couple other videos that Nikki loves doing more than anything, and that is uh, fishing for minnows. But this is her favorite place to look for fish. Oh yeah. This and is she, it. Uh, she She's been doing it nonstop since we've been here. Oh yeah. And she will do it to the point where we have to make her stop for a while, or else she'll just wear herself out. It was uh, back in the day when we used to camp here, we would actually tie a glow stick around her neck, so in the dark we would be able to see where she's at. <laughs> uh, and Jimmy's got him a new boat. And Jimmy used to camp. Jimmy and Amanda used to camp out here all the time with us. Yeah. Along yeah. with uh, a couple other friends that couldn't make it this trip. But uh, sunsets out here are quite amazing. Hoping to have a good one tonight. All right. So we will uh, check back in later once we're all set up. So one of the one of the things I told Allie if we were to camp this weekend out here on the island that I wanted to scale way back on what we were going to bring out. Because we used to just bring a boatload of stuff. It was ridiculous. Air up mattresses, a whole tote worth of uh, sleeping bags, because she wanted to like put five sleeping bags on top of the mattress. And uh, I was like, uh, no, let's just use the, uh, the three inch memory foam that we use in the RV and just sleep on that. So we did scale down a little bit. Most of this is Jimmy and Amanda stuff, but uh, even so, we still seems like we got a lot of crap. And uh, I don't know. That's why RV camping is so much easier. We don't have to pack all this stuff up and set it up. And obviously, we have uh, air conditioning at night when we're trying to sleep. That's gonna. That's the roughest part. Sleeping out here, it gets pretty humid sometime here. Nikki loves it though. This is her favorite. I don't think we're going to go anywhere. No, not until the tide comes back up at about 6 or 7 o'clock tonight. High tide is at 9 o'clock, so it's uh, about 4.30 right now, so we've got a ways to wait. So we're grilling out some hot dogs right now just for a snack. Our camp is all set up. It is hot as blue blazes out here, but the breeze feels great. Nikki's wearing herself out fishing because that's what she does. And we used to do this all the time. We used to have to make her stop because she doesn't know how to stop. She'll exhaust herself out doing this. So we're hoping to get a really good sunset tonight. There's, looks like there's just enough clouds on the horizon that uh, it might be really, really beautiful. Okay, so we have actually changed camping spots. It was it was a little toasty in our other spot. Here, we're much more shade. 
much more shade, much more trees, and a breeze coming through here. And I don't know if you can see off in the distance, there are these stilt houses or cabins out on the water. There's like seven or eight of them out around this area. And legend has it that uh, Johnny Cash had a friend who owned one, I believe, and he used to uh, go fishing. I guess fishing, right? Yeah, as a, as a fish, fish farmer, fish yeah. shack. Yeah. So, a little cool, interesting thing that Johnny Cash actually, actually, I think he had a home here. Yeah, I think he had a home in, in Newport Richie somewhere. I know, uh, I think Loretta Lynn did too, and Shirley Temple. So yeah, we are, we're much happier in this camp spot and hopefully uh, the tide comes back up, we'll move the rest of our stuff around. Whew, this is different than RV camping. I will say that. She's so stinking cute. Nikki, you are a hot, hot mess girl. She has basically fished and swam the whole time and we've been out here for what, about five hours now? She's uh, a tired girl. Yeah, about that. And she's also getting really dirty. So we're debating on who she's sleeping with tonight. Us or Jimmy and Amanda? We're voting Jimmy and Amanda. Well, we're building our fire pit. All right, well, we got our last rocks. Here. I think we got it. I think we got it. Rocks. Oh, oh my God. MG. Jimmy's, Jimmy's got an arm load. All right. I don't know where you're going to put them. It's the Barney Rebel special. Oh, God. Wow, those are big ones. Where'd you go? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my God! Jimmy, you got some big rocks, man. Yeah, did. All right. Yeah, more. Oh God, he's got more. He's going for more. He's going for more. I, I found a sweet spot. <laughs> a sweet spot. Nikki, oh are you gonna swim and fish all day? Yes. Are you really? Yes. Gosh! Don't tell me Allie's over there grabbing more rocks too. I, I don't know. We're gonna have a fire pit, man. Where did she go? A fire circle. Just as I suspected, Allie was over there getting more rocks. <laughs> more rocks? More rocks. <laughs> you, you do realize that this is gonna be underwater in about two hours, right? From well, the tide? At least we tried. There you go. That's yep. enough Look at rocks. our little fire pit, it's so cute. Hey, buddy. We got an injured bird. Poor little guy. Trying to give him some water. So being out here on Dernikey Island um, is such an amazing place to be. But I'll have to say that this is the time of day that is my favorite when it's sunsetting. Yep. Because you can see the most beautiful sunsets out here. It's just, oh. And it's cooled down and the breeze. Yes. It's just so nice out it's here just, this time of evening. Honestly, uh, me and Jimmy were just talking. If we do this again, we probably should just wait and come out a little bit later in the day. The yeah. problem is you want to get your spot camping wise. That's the yeah. thing. Because there are other campers out here and you do want to try to secure a good spot. And we, yeah. I think we've got a good spot now. Not the, Definitely. Not the spot we wanted, not our normal spot, but. Uh, but this is the best time to come out here when the, when the sun is starting to set and yeah. You can yeah. get that peace from the water and yeah. the breeze and, oh. It's Man, just... you got dirt all over your chest. <laughs> well, that's part of it. <laughs> Being out here is, you know, you're sandy. So beautiful out here this time of night. And this is why we do the camping out here. This is why we used to do it all the time. It would be nice if we could have our RV here uh, out on this island. What? It would be nice if we could have our RV out here on the island where we yes. could, when we're done, we could get a nice shower, get this salt and sand off of us. It doesn't and, bother me so much. And, I can uh, do it every once in a while, but I just can't do it all the time. Yeah. But uh, I like air conditioning when I'm sleeping. That's the only thing. <laughs> Hopefully the nice breeze that's happening right now will hit us tonight. Oh, yeah. Yes.
think the people in the next campsite over are having a mighty good time. Wow, they've been out here drinking all day. I don't even I don't even know how they're still not passed out at this point. Okie dokie then. <laughs> That's what happens when you're 27 years old. So we first started coming to this island back when I had a jet ski and when I first met Allie. But we never camped out here until, uh, until we got a boat. A little interesting fact about this island is it's actually man-made. This is all from where they dredged out the channel over, basically over there. And it just the channel goes all the way all the way out so yeah, there's like a 20 foot wide channel i think it is and casino boats used to go by here a lot so they, it's a fairly deep channel so all this is the dredge material i guess that they expelled out of that and put over here and, and trees started growing on this little island and uh it was it ended up being named after Derny. uh i guess the man was the mayor of newport richie one point and uh, this is how we got dirty King. very small island but uh, it's a very popular island around here a lot of people come out here and hang out and then all the way 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 out there there's another island called Antlote and that's a pretty large island but uh, we love our little island of Derniki so last night we had a beautiful sunset. It was, uh, it was just breathtaking. And they, they never fail to uh, disappoint usually out here. Yeah, and uh, we enjoyed having some kicking chicken last night. Oh yeah, Jimmy's kicking chicken. Mm -hmm. Campfire. And campfire, yep. Had some drinks and just enjoyed the water at yeah, night. It's just, I love it. I love getting in the water at night. It's yeah. just so peaceful. We don't like getting in the water when there's big things swimming in the water we saw last night. It could have been a shark. <laughs> <laughs> but Well, we didn't go too deep. No. And but, uh, yeah, we had a great night, and I got a little sun. Oh, yeah, we've all got a little bit of sun. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, it's hard waking up this morning. Yeah. Because you wake up when the sun comes up out here. Yeah, there's just, yeah, because boats start coming in. and Yeah, and we also had thunder that woke us up. And, yeah, it's cleared off now. Though. Yeah, it was. There was a. There was a big thunderhead over there earlier, and it's it's all dissipated out now. Yep. So Jimmy was right. Jimmy said that it wasn't going to come this way. So. Yep. But uh, yeah, he's cooking our breakfast right now. We're mm -hmm. starting to pack up a few of our things. Got to yep. run back in. Got some work to do today. Yep. And probably a good and I go shower. Back to, and I go back to school Monday. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. End of summer. Yep. After the boys of summer have, have gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right, we're going to eat our breakfast and we're pack up that thing right out there. And then we're going to make that boat ride all the way over to that piece of land over there, two miles. Yep. Hope nothing, nobody messed with that truck last night. I don't think so. And uh, call it a day. Yep. <laughs> so we will see you guys next week in Destin, Florida. Yep. And why are we going to Destin? We are going to Destin because we have a Carnival Crew gig. Yep. The first one we had in a long time. Yep. Uh, so it's it, going to feel good to be on that stage again. Yep. Knock some rust off. Yep. Okay, so if you guys are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe down below, ring that bell so you know when we upload a new video, and drop us a like, and we will see you guys next week in Destin, Florida. See ya.